Hallelujah. With excitement and joy in your heart. Shout, Hallelujah. Amen. I would like us to open our Bible. Chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 20. Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 20. Praise you the Lord. We all read it together. One, two, three, go. Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we are going to begin to thank God actively for everything he has done for us in the name of Jesus. David said that I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So begin to thank God. Thank him for everything. Thank him heartily. Think forth his praise. David said in Psalm 63 verse 4, Thus will I bless the Lord while I live. I will lift up my hands. I will lift up my hands in thy name. In addition to thanking him, lift up your hands and begin to thank him. Thank him heartily. Thank him. Shout unto him with voice of triumph. For the Lord the Most High is terrific. He is a great king over all. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me. Let your heart, let your kidneys, let everything within you praise and thank the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crown you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy your mouth with good things, so that your year, your youth is renewed like the eagle. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Call him beautiful name. Call him beautiful name. He's the ancient of days. He's the unchangeable changer. The one that can change sorrow to joy. The one that can change failure to success. The one that can change defeat to triumph. The one that can change non-achievement to all-round achievement. The one that can change trouble to rest. Thank him. Thank him. Bless his holy name. Acknowledge him. Appreciate him. Praise him. Honor him. Adore him. Magnify him. He is worthy to receive glory, honor, and power. He has created all things for his pleasure. Thank him. He is Jehovah Ashib, the great restorer. He is Jehovah Jireh, the almighty provider. Is Jehovah Rufeka, mighty healer. Praise him. 
Praise him. Now worship him. From your heart, worship him. Worship him. He is holy. Worship him. Worship him. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Amen. Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, King of all kings and Lord of lords, we thank you for this hour. We have come before you this morning to listen to you, to worship you. Father, speak to us. Your word is desirable. Your word is quick and powerful. Your word brings deliverance. Your word brings healing. Your word brings dominion. Your word brings rest and peace. Jehovah Shalom, speak to us. Grant us rest all round in the name of Jesus. Build special faith in us in the name of Jesus. As the word comes, let us receive faith. And let us be the doer of the word, not the hearer of the word alone. So that we can have abundant testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. And as you are sitting down, look at your, to your right, to your left, to your back, even to your front. Be a prophet to your neighbor. Tell him or her that today, today, there will be full restoration of all you have lost in terms of time, things, life will be restored unto you. You are blessed. You are richly blessed. You are a major blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome to church this morning and we'll be talking about developing addiction for his presence. Developing addiction for his presence. Praise ye the Lord. That is living a life that is craving for complete dependence on divine presence. Passionately, addictively to the presence of God. To live a lifestyle of complete reliance on the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Today, the Lord will minister to you. He will show to you a part of life that brings to you fullness of joy. Amen. On the day of Pentecost, when they received power from above and they started speaking in tongues, in Acts of Apostles chapter 2, people were saying, these men that are speaking like this, it's like they are drunk. Peter stood up and in verse 28 he repeated exactly verbatim what David said in Psalm 16 verse 11. He says, Thou will show me a part of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. And to your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. I want you to Please bow your head. 
and say, Father, open my eyes of understanding. Give me revelation. Illuminate my heart to be able to see and receive the life, the path of life that makes me to abide in your presence. That will make me to be in joy all through my life in all I do in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. A lifestyle of addiction for the presence of God. We know truly in his presence there is fullness of joy. Amen. On his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. According to the scripture we, we spoke about in Psalm 11 verse Psalm 16 verse 11. His presence brings liberty. Because where God is, his spirit is there. And where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. You will experience liberty on all fronts. Today and forevermore. In the name of Jesus. This is in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17. He established the fact that there is liberty in his presence. In his presence, there is success. There is mercy. There is favor. In Genesis chapter 39, verse 2 and 21, the Bible says, Joseph, the Lord was with Joseph. He prospered in the house of Potiphar. Then in prison, he experienced favor, he experienced mercy. The favor of God will come to you this moment and forevermore. You will not labor again in the name of Jesus. You will experience his presence and you will connect his absolute mercy. The Lord will grant you fullness of mercy. He will grant you abundant mercy in the name of Jesus. In his presence, there is rest all round. When Moses met, he was talking to God. He said, I will not go. I will not go from your presence. If you are not going with me, if your presence is not going with me, I will not go anywhere. And before he said that, God told him that I will go with you. I will go with you and you will experience rest. That's in Exodus chapter 33 verse 14. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. In the presence of God, fear cannot be accommodated. In the presence of God, there is no fear. Many years ago, about not too long, that's exactly 2021, I slept with burden in my heart, thinking of a lot of things, and I was ministered to in my sleep. And in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, it says, Fear not, I am with you. The presence of God cannot accommodate fear. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. The scripture came to me and I, you know, the sight, the word, and I was in my sleep and I was looking at it and behold, as I woke up to pick my phone, the scripture for the day, exactly. Praise the Lord. And from that time, in fact, some people call me Galatia because I don't worry about anything. Praise the Lord. I held on to the word and there cannot be fear. You will not fear again. You will not fear again. You will not experience fear. Amen. 
in Psalm 24, 23 verse 4. It says, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil, for the Lord is the Lord and the staff, they comfort me. In his presence, there is comfort. Praise the Lord. In the presence of God, there is strength, there is help, and there is validation. According to Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, that I just spoke to you, there is strength, there is help, and there is validation. The Lord will validate you. When people bid for things, and you are one of them, the Lord will validate you. The Lord will validate you. As God gave divine introduction to Jesus, he said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. The Lord is saying to you, he's telling you, he's mentioning your name, you are my beloved son. You are my beloved daughter. You are my beloved son. You are my beloved daughter. If you are the son or daughter of God, you carry his DNA. Praise the Lord. You carry his DNA. And the DNA of God is that there's nothing like impossibility. Nothing like impossibility. What has been impossible for people from today, it will be possible for you. In his presence, there's no possibility. There's no impossibility. Amen. In his presence of God, there is security. According to Psalm 91, they say, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high hide under the shadow of the Almighty. Praise the Lord. You are secured. In his presence, there is security. In his presence, there is security. The Lord will secure you on all fronts in the name of Jesus. The sun will not smite you by the day, nor the moon by the night. In the name of Jesus. In his presence, there is immunity. Praise the Lord. The Hebrew boys were thrown into burning furnace. They were thrown there. Even the people that threw them there, they got burnt. You know, in the name of Jesus, we will not be given awful assignments. We will not take the death of other people. They were thrown there. And the king rushed. He could not, he could not sleep. And when he saw them, he said, ah, didn't we throw three people there? Therefore, I can see the fourth person is he looks like the son of God. Praise the Lord. When you are with God, you are immune against every plot of the devil, against all odds. I decree immunity of God on you in the name of Jesus. I decree immunity of God on you in the name of Jesus. When you go out in the day, you, will, you are protected. When you come back, you are protected. You will not go empty in the name of Jesus. In the presence of God, there is reverence and honor. In 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 12, the Bible says, The God was with David, and Saul feared him. You know, a little boy, king, fearing a little boy. You know, he has all his life planning to hurt this young fella that has come to save him. The guy will come, will play instrument of God, I mean, instrument to, to, to worship God, and the man will step out of insanity. But all his life, you see, this one that is likely to take my throne, let me waste him. But he feared him. Praise the Lord. Because the presence of God is with him. I see you carrying the presence of God and your enemies with wonderful instruments, yet they will fear you. 
the dread of you will be in them in the name of Jesus. These are a lot of wonderful things in the presence of God. Praise God. But how do we develop? How do we get addicted to the presence of God? Praise the Lord. The scripture says, I will show you a path of life. It will show you a path of life. The word of God is God himself. Praise the Lord. In Genesis chapter, I mean John chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And God was the word. Praise the Lord. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And the word was God. God of the word is the word. Praise the Lord. He said, I will show you, I will show you a path of life. It is God himself that will show you. So, for you to know how to go, for you to know how to go and be in his presence continually, you have to be an addicted soldier of the word. Praise the Lord. You have to embrace the word. Hallelujah. Jesus said, if you abide in me, and my word abide in you. You will say what you will. And you will get it. Praise the Lord. If you abide in me. And my word is richly dwelling in you. Whatsoever you say. It is your will. But you will not say something that is contrary to the word of God. Because the word of God is in you. And you are abiding with Christ. Praise the Lord. So. The way to get addicted or to carry, to, to develop addiction for the presence of God is to be with the word. Hear the word. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. When the word of God comes to you, you get faith. Praise the Lord. Faith is not just believing. It is acting on the word of God. Praise the Lord. It says, hear the word, read the word, study the word, memorize the word, meditate the word, and act upon the word. Praise the Lord. Psalm 1. I want you to please put Psalm 1 on the board. On the, on the screen. Psalm 1. Praise the Lord. He said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in this counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Yes, go on. But his delight, his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his Lord does he meditate day and night. His delight is in the word of the Lord, and in the word does he meditate day and night. You need to Delight yourself in the word of God. That is how to develop yourself into addiction. That is without thinking of anything. That you won't be comfortable if you are not in his presence. Praise the Lord. And it shall be like a tree planted by the riverside. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever it doeth shall prosper. Praise the Lord. Delighting on the word of God is making you to know how to go. To get to know the path of life that launch you into the presence of God. Because it is not negotiable. In his presence, there is joy. In his presence, there is joy. A particular woman in, a, in Mark Chapter 5, I think from verse 25. She lost her health. She lost her wealth. She lost her joy. She lost her comfort. She lost everything. And she's decided if I would launch myself into the presence of 
Jesus Christ. And hair and hold his garment. I will be made old. She decided. And as soon as he got in touch with Jesus, she was restored. In his presence, there is power. Say, in his presence, there is power. You are going to connect the power this day. Today, you connect the power. Because Jesus said, somebody touched me. And the, the disciples were confused. Why would this man say this? You are, you are in, beside the river and you are saying water should not touch you. See the crowd. Why, how will you know who touched you? People will tell you, say no. Because he knew that virtue has gone out of him. And the woman came out. She took, she took the risk of faith. Said, yes, I am the one. And he said, your faith has made you old. The faith that will make you complete and be launched perpetually into his joy will come upon you now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is power in his presence. In, in uh, Acts of Apostles, Peter, Peter, mere fisherman, that, that was not successful. He, was, he, he toiled all night, didn't get anything until Jesus got to him. And he said, okay, launch this way. The word of God came to him, launched this way. He became a very successful man. Praise the Lord. The same man that when they were trying to kill Jesus, he denied Jesus three times. Praise the Lord. When he's going around, his shadow was healing people. His shadow was healing people. Praise the Lord. You will get there and you go beyond there. In the name of Jesus. The presence of God will bring wonders into your life. The, the presence of God will make you to continue to succeed in all areas. In the name of Jesus. So, to get addicted to the presence of God, you need to be close to the word. You need to study the word. Like I said, for hear the word, read the word, study the word, Memorize the word, meditate on the word, and also act on the word. So shall you profit. Joshua was being ministered to. And he was told, don't allow this book of law to depart your mouth. Meditate upon it day and night. Observe to do all that therein. Then shall you have good success. Not mere success, good success. I see you succeeding on all fronts in the name of Jesus. So, be addicted reader of the word. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then, the second one is to be an addicted worshiper. An addicted worshiper. When Jesus met the lady at the well, it was Jesus that asked for water, probably to introduce, you know, to get uh, talking with her. And the lady was doing one kind, and Jesus said, If you know the person that is talking to you, I'll give you water. <laughs> and the lady looked at him, You are, this is well. I am the one that have instruments to, to bring the water out. You are asking for water. I have not given you. As, you are boasting that you give me water. What are you doing here if you have water? And he just sent one word. Okay, where is your husband? Say, ah, I don't have a husband. Say, yes, you are correct. The one you are staying with is not your husband. This and this and this and this. Ah! Praise the Lord. And the lady now wanted to be spiritual. They are saying, okay, you people say we should not worship here. We have the place to worship here. You say we should come to Jerusalem. Whatever. Jesus said, no. Don't bother. Don't bother to worship anywhere. Our God is spirit. 
And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise God. That he is in fact looking for true worshippers. God is looking for true worshippers. So if you worship God in spirit and in truth, God is seeking for you. Praise the Lord. You become launched into him, or, or, or into his presence. And you carry his presence. Praise the Lord. So you be addicted worshiper of God. Now, in the protocol of heaven, thanksgiving precedes praise. Praise will culminate into worship. In Psalm 100, it says, Enter to his gates with thanksgiving. As soon as you come around, the key word is thank you. The gate will be flung open unto you. You will launch into his yard, into the compound. When you begin to praise him, you get into his inner chamber. Praise the Lord. Because God inhibits the praises of his people. According to Psalm 22 verse 3. Now, he said, our God is only. He inhibits the praises of his people. Praise God. When we thank God, we are thanking him for what he has done. When we praise God, we are expressing you know, it's mighty acts. Praise the Lord. You can't, you can't imagine how the sun is made. It's traceable to what Jesus said, what God said. Let there be, let there be, let there be light. How, see how awesome sun is. Sun gives power. Sun gives energy. Sun gives life. Sun brings light. Praise the Lord. You are praising God. Now, when you praise him, he will come to you. He will sit down. He will be on his throne. Praise the Lord. Then, to worship God, is not, you can't phantom how to worship God. You need revelation to worship, to worship him. Because it's only only is mere obedience. Praise the Lord. He is only. And it is by revelation that you connect him in the holiness. Praise the Lord. And that is worship. When you worship him, you are with him. Hallelujah. It is not possible for you to feed somebody. You know, uh, during the COVID time. And uh, they say people that are working from home, all that, all that. And I asked my, uh, my sister, that's a medical practitioner, you know, in medical, whatever, that, ah, are you not going to be working from home? She said, ah, how, how, can you, how can you work from home? You know, it's not possible for you to feed somebody from afar. The food of God is thanksgiving. Praise God. So, for you to feed him, you are with him. Praise the Lord. So, addicted worshiper of God is enjoying his presence all the time. Praise God. Before I tell you the last one that has to do with how to, to launch into um, his presence, let me quickly tell you the type of God's presence that we have. We have four, four of them. Praise God. The first one, according to Psalm 139, we have omniscience, omnipresent, uh, omnipresence of God. Praise God. That is, God is everywhere. Even in the beer parlor, God is there. In the pit, God is there. In the valley, God is there. Anywhere you want to talk of, all those secret places that they do, occultic meetings, whatever, God is there. Praise God. But that is just one level. Then the second one is abiding presence of God. Any child of God is having the abide, abiding presence of God in him or her. Praise God. He say, I will send to you. Say, I will tell the Father, I will send to you comforter that will 
be with you till the end of time. Praise the Lord. So as a believer, you have abiding presence of God. Hallelujah. Then the third one, the third one is active presence. It's not that God is just present. <laughs> He's doing something. Hallelujah. It's not that God is just present. He's doing something. And I want to tell you the life of Joseph. When Joseph was sold a slave, you know, his father sent him to go and visit his brothers just to check them out. Father was interested in their welfare. He too, also in concert with the father, was interested in their welfare. You know, even Miss Rowe that he had to get counsel and how to get there. So, they are bitter about his dream. They, they hate him for his dreams. Praise the Lord. Please don't stop dreaming. Dream. Dream. Even though they hate you, because of the active presence of God in your life, they will only help to transport you to your place of destiny. So one thing that I observe, Joseph is a man that is constantly praising God. He was thrown into the pit. The type of pit is like a well, but it, the water has dried. But it's down. All the time, he's always saying, raising up his hand to thank, to worship God. So when, because the, the elder brother does not want them to sell him. He, want, he didn't want them to kill him. So he kept him by the side. And when they tried to bring him out, it was so easy because he was always stretching his hand. So he brought him out of the pit. Praise the Lord. So as they brought him out, these people, they came together. They collected money. And the man that was sold as slave, they kept him on camel. Camel of all animals they used for transport in those is the, is the tallest, you know. So they kept him on camel. He, was, he, he rode on camel to where he was going. His brothers that collected money they made themselves sad because they are rehearsing how, how, to, how to tell the father that the, the, the man has died. In his clothes, they, they put blood in their hand and they, were, they, and they were trekking. The man that was sold, you know, was on, on a camel, moving, you know. Camel is very high. If you know camel, you know, he, he, he had a triumphal uh, uh, ride to where he will be sold. So, you people... Please, crave the presence of God. The Lord was with Joseph. First of all, when they tried to despise him, he was promoted. Praise God. That singular act is like, it's like a, a promise of what is going to happen in the future. Praise the Lord. So, Joseph, an addictive praiser of God, so the fourth type of um, the fourth type, fourth type of presence is active. Is uh, doing something. The addictive and uh, an accomplished accomplished presence of God. Addictive and accomplished presence of God. Praise the Lord. That's the fourth one. The um, Moses. Moses is the type of person, and I want you to please convert the life of Moses. Is the type of person that you would not want to do anything without God endorsing it. Some people they will just decide and say, "I want to go to Canada. I want to go to Egypt. I want to go to this. I want to go to that." You understand? When that is not the word of God for them. Because the presence of God gives direction. Praise God. So, the people that are addictive, that's a type of presence, that they are continually in everything to drink water is God. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. Those are the people by the grace of God, if you to live is Christ and to, to die. 
Praise God, Lord. Ati kumi ati ayimi is to give glory to God. Praise the Lord. So those are the then the last one for how to launch yourself into the presence of God. Continually be in the presence of God. You have to be addictive prayer. Prayer person. Praise the Lord. Say, Father, make me a prayer addict. Say, Father, make me a prayer addict. It's not easy. Even if you have agenda that every day I wake up at five to pray, you find out that it's not always convenient. You need to be disciplined to do it. The Bible says in James, that James 5, 17, it says, Elias, is actually Elijah, is a man of like passion. He's a man like me and you. But he prayed. He said, by the God on, on, on whom I stand. Praise the Lord. By the God on whom I stand. That is, me in the presence of God, by the name of God. This, this will happen, this, this will happen. That, that should not be rain for three years and six months. Praise the Lord. And it happened exactly like that. Praise the Lord. So for you to get and continue to enjoy the presence of God, you have to be addicted prayer, prayer list, if that language is permitted. Become addicted prayer warrior. Praise the Lord. You pray, you do, when you pray, you are praying to God. You pray in the name of Jesus. And you pray in concert with the word. You know, it's just, when you are praying and you located the word for prayer, and you just, you just say it. Your own is just to say it. Because it's anointed word already. It will work. Praise the Lord. I want you to please stand up and let us take this song together. Are you standing up already? Anytime I come into your presence, I'm so happy. Anytime I come into your presence, I'm so glad. In your presence, there is anointing. And your spirit moves around me. In your presence, anointing brings the Lord. Sing it once more. When I come in. Your presence, I'm so happy. When I call into your presence, I'm so glad. In your presence, there is anointing, and your spirit moves around me. In your presence, anointing. anointed Jesus Christ with Holy Ghost and power and he went about doing good healing all those that were oppressed of the devil the Lord was with him hallelujah you begin to declare and banish everything that will keep you away from enjoying his presence all the time be taken off away from me in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus.
Please tell God all opportunities that I have lost, all opportunities that I have lost, be restored unto me. Be restored unto me. All opportunities that I have lost, be restored unto me. All time that I have lost, be restored unto me. All monies I have lost, be restored unto me. All material things that I have lost, be restored unto me. Pray, pray, pray. Father, I obtain grace. Keeping me to walk with the principle that secure my manifest presence in your life. The manifest presence of God in your life. Father, I obtain grace that will make me to keep and act on the principle that will make me to experience manifest presence of, of you in my life. I obtain grace to be a chronic carrier of your presence. I obtain grace to be a, an addicted carrier of your presence in my life in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, you are mighty. Let me see your might produce favor, rest, roundabout, supernatural protection, preservation, honor, and exemption in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the reason of this, the power that raised up Jesus Christ from death, I decree and declare by the reason of power that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, I decree and I declare that all that I need to do to connect be given unto me in the name of Jesus. In case you have any ailments in your body, you say how Jesus was anointed by God with Holy Ghost and power, and he went around doing good, healing those that were oppressed of the devil, and the Lord was with him. I received the touch of Christ, and every ailment in my body go, go, go. My health is restored. My health is restored. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. He said, if you abide in me, and my word abide in you, you ask all you will, and you get them. Thank you for answered prayers. In the name of Jesus.